Hello and welcome back to watch here and it's about time for another episode of Fata Morgana. So yeah, I'm not going to give any long intro this time or anything because I actually feel worse than I felt uh, during recording the previous episode. It's been a day. And yeah, I'm also kind of tired. So I feel like it's going to be the best if we just go to the episode, continue the story. Um, because we finished with the backstory of Jacopo and Maria. And I will basically comment on um, the next events. So I think, yeah, let's just, let's just go. Yeah, they were adorable back then. And short to boot. But now you've hardened so much. I was flabberbangster when I next uh, when I next saw you. Dressed all fancy from head to toe. You became quite uh, the smug little bastard I thought. You weren't you sure weren't that little kid anymore. <laughs> you have quite the memory. Did you forget all of this? Well, yeah, I don't forget my promises. And I never forget. I said I'll always be on his side. The question is, did you remember? I did. I remember every word you said that day. And you said, and as I said, I left Casa Nostra as it was. Though, it is quite some distance away now. I imagine if we went back and did a little work on it, we could uh, have it look like the old times. Does it still exist though? Like, if you're like not in your country where this thing is, then it could be destroyed at this point, right? Nero? He, about a year after you left, he suddenly disappeared. Okay. Now just for the record, I did take care of him, as you told me. I'm guessing he got in a fight with on the stray dog or something. I searched, but could never find him. Oh well. It has been more than a decade. Not everything gonna be exactly the same. Yep. Yeah. So... Yeah. Dogs don't live that long. Like, decades. You, however, haven't changed a bit from the girl you were all those years ago. Neither have you. Sure, you seem different on the outside, but at your core, I believe you haven't changed at all. So the same old Jacopino. Could you not tell? Could you not call me that? <laughs> I have changed quite a bit, unlike you, and I'm well aware of that. Say, uh, Jacopo, do you consider me supportive of everything you could have asked? Of course you are. You're constantly supporting me, past and present. You approve the existence of the kind of friendship that can, that can transcend gender, blood, and any other such distinctions. You know, it's honestly, honestly kind of bizarre. Thank you without a stick up in uh, a stick up in your ass. Well, that's harsh words, but but true. Yep, he usually had a stick in his ass. Come on now, hear me out. You almost had me blushing there. Anyway, before you put the stick back up there, tell me something. Am I still your only ally? Mm. You are. Of everyone in this mansion, I'm the only one uh, asking if, like, he's going to tell that uh, white-haired girl is also his ally. Yes. Well, fuck you then. If she would at least have a little more... A madam? A little more of what? And actually intend to treat her like that. Let me check up I know. I mean, from the girl's perspective, 
what you did is pretty awful from every single perspective from outside it's pretty fucking awful but hey i'm not a girl according to you anyway i will how i will just be on your side no matter what god i feel as though i'm being consulted consult huh what was it i was going for I should have op I should have never opened up to you. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, now is probably not the best time to bring this up, but I have a letter. A letter. Okay, so this is already, already, already motion. You already wrote that. I thought like she's going to like talk to him and then like. Maybe next scene we're going to have like getting the letter, but actually it's time skip and we actually got the letter. Written by the madame here. A letter from my wife? Let me see it. Okay, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he's even considering opening this and he's so open about this. Is he, isn't this face like getting constantly more and more angry? Was that like change in his like... Is he get more and more angry? <laughs> is that what it is? What the hell am I reading? I was considering keeping it a secret, but having seen it, I thought hiding it from you might only hurt you more, more so... I decided it was the best to show you. Oh, wait. Is that not from her? Who is this? Who is this letter? Who is this letter for? It's as if but that can't. I love you. Who is she writing to? Okay. Like oh boy, you are such a. F <laughs> I don't know. I I have a feeling like I'm going to like turn on my feelings towards Jacopo from the previous episode. I I'm starting to getting annoyed again. Like extremely annoyed. <laughs> I don't know this man. Get the breath, Jacob, and listen to me. Madame is having an affair. Wait. Hold on a second. Is that like actual? Wait. I'm no way. Okay, I'm I'm not believing this. Did Maria just betray us? Did Maria just betray us? What? There's no way that happened. No way. I'm not believe I'm not buying this. Why everyone is against her? I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this. This is not happening. There's no way. I refuse to believe that. I haven't changed a beat. If you seriously believe that, then I've got news for you, Paul. Anyone who acts exactly the same as they did in the past. Is doing just that, acting, much like I do around you. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Is Maria a villain actually of this door? What? <laughs> and that soundtrack fits so well. Okay, this is, this is something I generally had like no expectation that that could happen. I did. I. What the. Huh? A friendship will never change. Yeah, what a fucking joke. You pick the wrong girl to put your first trust in And you call your... Uh, you astute Can you taste the fucking irony? Well, that just makes things easier for me But my god, it's suffocating playing the good girl It's stupidly cheerful little ray of sunshine, Maria Ah, sickening What the fuck? <laughs> I can't... I, oh my god, my brain what? 
On the other hand, the payoff is fantastic. I can't stop. God, watching him lose his cool was incredible. My sides hurts just thinking about it. Oh my god. So Maria is the one who wrote this letter. So... Oh my god, so Whitehead girl said that she wants to write the letter, she wrote the letter, then Maria wrote the letter by herself and gave this letter instead of Whitehead girl letter to frame her. She don't care about her, she don't care about him, she's just like, she have like some kind of like agenda now against both of them, actually against him, but to get into him, he's getting through his wife as well. What the hell? What happened? You're saying? You're telling me she wrote this? Who else could have written it? It's in her handwriting. Okay... Did, can you copy her handwriting probably? We don't know how long ago... It was written. Why, why, why must she continue to betray me? Is uh, she not taken enough already? What else could she possibly want from me? Okay, I'm on Jacopo's side now. I Like, this episode just cha changed my opinion. <laughs> Again. <laughs> like, Maria, go away. Jacopo, I'm on, on your side now. You are being played. <laughs> you are pro like, your behavior is probably influ influenced by, like, little, like, ticks here and there that she did, a little manipulations. I told her to stay away from my gatherings. I had the rose garden torn down, and yet still she finds other men. I warned her, told her it wouldn't happen again, that if she betrays me one more time I would kill her. Jacopo. Go my way, Maria, I have to talk to her, ask her what this letter is all about. Who this man is, he's not going to believe her that it's not her. And depending on the, how she answers. Hold on, Jacopo, calm down. Silence. How am I supposed to calm down right now? Listen to me, relax. You try to talk to her right now, and you're go aren't going to get anywhere. You're aware just how frenzied you are, aren't you? Besides, you think she's going to tell you the truth? Even if you do manage to ask, of course not. She may look like a prim and proper, but that's not the real hair. Oh my god, what an irony. I, I can taste the fucking irony as you said, Maria. Yeah, you are just like talking about yourself now. Can you taste the irony in the comments? I don't think she's a bad person, but... Not a bad person. The woman who wrote this letter, that was another man, she crossed the line, you heard me? I agree with you there. She gone too far with this letter. Remember, she's your wife and the daughter of the noble. You, exact, you know exactly what will happen if you lose control of yourself and do something to her. I'm not gonna look good for you. She... she may be nobility, but I... I have the Cosca. We have our way of taking care of those kind of problems. Still, it's plain as day, it will only make a bigger mess. No one else knows about this yet. Are you telling me to act like nothing happened? When she violently disrespects me? Jacopo, could you let me take care of it? I'm friends with the madame. You know that. She'll listen to me. Oh my god, she's going to like say something freaking horrible to just like make her like even sadder or like ta him target for her. What the fuck? What is your goal? Why did that happen? What happened in that like time skip that she's like this? Is she jealous? Is it jealousy? Is this jealousy? Because he ended up with white haired girl instead of her? Because from the backstory, I got the understanding that they had the feelings for each other. And then, like, she comes back and he have a wife. Maybe it's a jealousy. Maybe she's, like, trying to ruin their both lives, basically, at this point. 
I think like that's the case. Th th that's my shot on this. This is the story of the jealousy. So I will make sure it gets through to her. Just how much you care about her. I could ask you. It would be disgraceful. It's nothing to be ashamed of. But I tell you, I'm on your side and you are on mine. We are in this together. Yeah. You can ask me things you couldn't ask others to do. I have tight lips. And if you ask, I will keep absolutely in the wraps. Damn it. You're right. Yes, you're right. I'm well aware. But I always lose myself in her presence. If I try to talk to her now, I will probably will do something crush. Yes. I will probably... I'll make sure everything works out, got it? You and the madame can go back to the way things used to be, so you don't have to suffer anymore. I'll take care of it. I'm the one. I'm the only one who can understand your pain. And I'm the only one who can help you out of it. She's so go she's so trying to make wh like white haired girl to like just go away basically or die or something. And she's going she she wants to replace her. She wants to be his wife. She wants to replace her. She's literally like sweeting him here. Just telling that, yeah, I'm the only one for you. Like, I can understand your pain. I can help you. No one else. Yeah, th this is definitely the, the theme of this. I didn't expect that Maria to be such a backstabbing bitch. Jacopo. Yeah, Maria. Oh, don't make that face, Jacopino. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. Please let her know. That even if she saying other man, even if she does suddenly mock me for not being uh, not being a noble blood, that I that I still love her. Oh shit, he actually went and said it. That's also a huge surprise. But she's not going to cover, cover this, like she's going to like say something else. She's so not going to send this message. But I don't want to raise my hand against her. Yeah. You love her. That's a riot. You're too busy chasing your stacks of paper. You don't have what it takes to truly love a woman. I will say though, I was surprised you lost your head that badly. Quite a little crush you've got on her. You could just sit down and talk to her like the rational human being. And presto, all your problems would be solved. Yeah, pretty much. But he does not give a fuck and he's not listening to her. We already established that. But you can't even manage that. Which is why you are in this predicament. Once you are convinced of something, Jacopo, you never let go of it. And she's too timid to speak up for herself. Sorry, madam. I've got nothing against you, okay? So she only have an agenda against him, not against her. Okay. I just didn't expect things to go quite this well. There's no stopping now. Now when I've got this much momentum. Also, watching a pretty girl like you break down gives me goosebumps. I'm still convinced I'm the only person you can trust. Yeah, that's bad. This is so fucked up. Wow. How did he react to the letter? Yeah, the one that uh, the, that you wrote or the one that I wrote? Oh my god, she's going to be... Oh, he's been angry. He's been like, I cannot believe what you said. And he just like tore it and like throw it to the fire or something. Oh my god, this plot twist. Okay, I have another theory now, because she said that, like, she don't really care and stuff, right? So, since she's, like, from the different family, what if she actually, what she actually tries to do is to make family of Jacopo lose power, so her family goes on the top and the, and the Jacopo family will be servitude to the other, to her family, basically. So she wants to change in power, basically. So she's, like the spy 
within Jacopo family basically right now and she's like silent assassin she might kill Jacopo at some point actually like eliminate the, the new head of the family basically and blame it on her oh whoa this is all oh. I got a whole picture now I think she's like making both of them against each other then kill Jacopo blame it on her and no one will believe whatever she will say because of how harsh environment and how harsh uh, relationship the white haired girl had with Jacopo they will think that yeah he's been abusing her and stuff and she had enough and she wanted to revenge him and she actually killed him that's I, I think like this is the whole plot for this I'm going with this for now let me know in the comments what's your idea actually what do you think do you agree with me or maybe you have like some different theory I would like to hear well uh, yeah about that will he not take it oh no he took it it's just uh don't feel too bad about this madam he said he's too busy with work and tossed the letter aside okay it's like he's not even reading i told him to make sure he writes your replay but he hasn't gotten around it at all i see it's a shame it kills me to see you like this madame oh my god she's so good an actress holy crap i don't get why he has to be so heartless not even taking a little bit of time out of this day to read the letter you poured your soul into writing it's unacceptable i'm sure he really is busy he did not throw it away though did he i imagine he means to read it when he has more time madame after everything you've done to you he's done to you you still think he means well I have a feeling like also part of the plan of making white haired girl like she wants to make her hate Jacopo and she's failing spectacularly at this I think uh, yeah like this part of plan will fail making her mad about Jacopo that's the one part that will fail I wonder if this still like make the whole plan that I just thought about uh, irrelevant is she does she need to be angry at him for this to work probably not right I have faith my timing was poor that's all I believe in him I believe that the day will come when he gives me his attention and uh, as he did before and she's actually not wrong like everything like would be fine if not for Maria if you think about this like Maria is like behind the scenes making them against each other they would probably be fine without Maria so her faith and like trust in Jacopo is actually well placed Wow. So, could I ask you to believe me, Maria? I have faith that he will once more show me his love and that mine will reach him. Something tells me it will all work if you pray for it. Yeah, okay. If you're fine with me praying, I'll pray. I'll get down my knees for you, madam. I will have faith. Thank you. I would like to write down the letter. When it is complete, could I ask you to deliver it to him? I give him as many as you want. Oh my god. As many as it takes for you to get through to him. Yeah, okay. Really ought to learn not to be so trusting, madame. Take a real close look. And you will see exactly who is that who it was that ground your happy life into dust thank you maria 
<laughs> the reincarnation of the mother of God? <laughs> oh god, I can't hold back my little laughter. This is a stage of my own creation. We didn't have enough actors, so the playwright had to take the role herself. But that only adds to the excitement. Yes, this is all and all my masterpiece. They're just ignorant puppets dancing to my tune. From the first shot to the last, blind to those uh, blind to his fingers sitting on the trigger. Listen to me, Jacopo. Just try to keep your head. I saw the madame meeting another man behind your back. You know the Ark in the Rose Garden? Oh, that's why he tore the garden because she told him that she was like meeting with someone oh my god now we're getting like to discover like all the times when she messed up with them holy shit the first sight out of sight from the mansion making it a perfect place to hide i saw her back there from the looks of it the madame is having her meetings with one of the men who comes to your business gatherings and they don't act like they're just friends. Yeah, but just to be clear, I don't have the solid proof. So it's best if you didn't mention this to her yet. You wouldn't want to start throwing around accusations. I need to find out too late. There's all a big misunderstanding. I will get to the bottom of this. So you... I think the madame might have the eyes on the several men. Being a woman, you know, I can tell these things. She's giving these suggesting clues, suggestive looks, but to whom I can pinpoint. A lot of people come in and out of this house after all. What? You want to keep her from leaving her room? Ah, huh. that might be the best. For the best. There's so much going on. That's so well. It makes me thank even gods on my side. They could just talk it over with another. Exactly, just like I said many times before but damn like this is like great villain reveal this is great villain re reveal they made her such a cool character she was good but now she's even better as the character like the written character holy shit she played everyone what they want, and they are deeper and deeper shit for it. You are the only one I can trust, Maria. And the timing that night, my god, it was perfect. Hey, Jacopo? I could just be... I could just be misreading her, but something seems off about the madame. Like she's been on the edge or something. I tried to egg her into revealing what's going on, and she let sleep. She might be going out somewhere tonight. Oh my god. She literally like... Oh wow. She's going with you, is she? You are going out to survey construction site today, right? I would suggest you get take care of it quickly. Tense? This time of night? Yep. Since it's light and no loud music. All you get uh, is a little whistling courtesy of me. This room is too small for. We'll use the Great Hall. Wouldn't that put us uh, in everyone else's way? He wouldn't probably complain about the noise too. He would complain. No need to worry. Check up out inspection, inspecting some factory or something today. She's so good. I love her. Oh my god. I love Maria as a villain. Holy shit. She looks so sweet <laughs> and innocent. <laughs> after all, after uh, after that he got a meeting, so he was be staying the night elsewhere. I, I thought you would not become back until tomorrow. And how would you know that? No, forget that. Does my staying the night elsewhere have any effect on you? You were just waiting for this opportunity, weren't you? No, what could I possibly want? want you out of the house for i'm surely you know better than anyone what is this smell perfume oh my god this is this is oh god when did you get the perfume 
And I have to say, you seem to be having quite the time. Look at you, you out of breath, out of beat. I made the right decision coming back. Where the hell were you going? I'm sorry, this is all my fault. If I hadn't asked you to dance, and me bring the perfume only make this works worse. <laughs> Actually, works. Okay, it, it, yeah, it worked. <laughs> no, you no need to feel bad about anything, Maria. Everything you did was with uh, my best interest at heart. Oh, that hurts. Holy shit, she doesn't even suspect me in the slightest. Yeah, and I was able to put that perfume to great use. I don't want a sucking glitch. Tomaso showed up at the perfect time too. I'm pretty sure that when Jacopo starts getting actively violent, a jealous man is a wonderful thing. I was imagining the wars and making mothers worse for it. Did she just like bribed the the guy? Because he said Monet is sucking glitch. I mean, he sucked the Monet out of Jacopo actually. We saw it, but yeah, okay, he's jealous of the white haired girl and like, yeah, like, easy to manipulate. Wow, is that you, Tommaso? It's been a lo so long. What brings you here? Oh, look at who it is, little Miss Campanella. It was a surprise, didn't expect to see you. The sight of great blue. Oh no, I've been giving Jacopo a hand. Well, color me impressed. After what happened, I wouldn't. Uh, I would have thought you would want nothing to do with him. A little between our parents, Jacopo didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, I have a feeling like stuff changed. Yeah. Well, what uh, should be nice for all the younger generations to go through life without nothing to spark that kind of powder keg. Well, that's it's my place to talk. No need to worry. Uh, yourself about any of that? So, what brings you here, Tommaso? I'm a little, uh, you know how it is. I think a little bit trouble staying afloat. Yeah, I see. So, are you here to beg for offerings? It's a shameless, Tommaso. No point in having shame if it ain't making money. Okay. <laughs> Tossed out, uh, tossed it out of the chamber pot. Hell, might uh, make things easier if I just quit and quit being human altogether. The reference to the beast. <laughs> I heard. Uh, are you that hard for cash? Unfortunately, number we're supposed to post to go up, but for some reason they ended up going down instead. Ah, <sighs> might be the best if you kick the gambit habit. Now, now, that's like telling me to go off myself. Yeah, I bet. Say, Tommaso, have you could pitch in a bit too? Oh, you mean it? It'd be a huge help. Yeah, there's seriously not a scrap of shame in you. Have an exchange? I would like you to do something for me. Yeah, she's like bribing him. Oh my god. Someone whose face needs a visit from my fist. Depending on the number, I could also possibly cut them into chunks and toss them into the ocean. Well, 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 keep it clean. I'm not asking to do, you to do anything like that. And what is it then? Something low life like me can do? It will be easy. And it's nothing bad either, is it? You're going to go to talk to Jacopo, aren't you? Okay, how you're going to tell him? Something that is not bad and make him like to tell this and suggest that she's like cheating on him. How? What does Samuel like, like you to tell him while you, you are dead? it? You know he's married, right? He can get pretty nasty with his wife though. That's so. Sounds like she's got it rough. She does. She's religiously devoted to him too. I've been trying to nudge things in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, I can see clearly. <laughs> Look at her back on the good terms with him, but I haven't much had much luck. And that's something the two of them should work through. 
Normally yes, but he's reached the point where I can't bear to sit back and watch anymore. I don't like seeing the two of them in pain, sure. I want to do something for them. How noble. You're pretty devoted to yourself, little lady. Ah, I'm not important right now. Sure. Just doing the right thing. But the thing is, Jacopo won't hear a word of it. I figured maybe you, being a man, might be able to get through to him a little better than me. Huh. Doubt you will listen to me there, to be honest. Come on, he used to be really close, though. And I doubt he hates, hates you. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Anywho, talking something anyone can do. So what do you want me to tell him? I need you to give him a bit of scolding. Tell him that the madame came to you, asking for advice, that she accidentally let sleep. That the way he treats uh, her day to day causes her grief. Oh my god, Maria, you are so freaking perfect villain, I love you. Yeah, like, Tommaso will not expect this to go into this direction, this is innocent enough. Wow. I never met his wife, or his before, you know. It works even better that way. She is so down, downdrotten, she can't talk to anyone about it. So she thought that maybe you, being a family, might be able to help. Never met you, but she still lashed onto a ray of hope. I'm sure when Jacopo finds out she brought it up with family, he will know he can't keep mistreating her. Things like this hit home harder when they come first from someone, uh, when they come from someone on outside. You make a decent point. Yeah, this is perfect. This is such a perfect plan. Holy shit. Just remember, little lady. All I can do is bring it up with him. I can't guarantee it will change nothing. That's all I need you to do. Yep, that will change a lot. Thanks a bunch, Tommaso. Alright, what do I think? Huh? This is some perfume that's grown quite popular recently. Ask him to give it to the madame as a gift. Oh my god. You witch. Oh my god. If you won't take it, you keep it. Give it to another woman, sell it whenever you want. Perfume, huh? Hey. Full of you. Sorry, as I said, I'm tired today, so this is my only recording today. Woman, do you like uh, getting gifts like that? Yes, we do. I think, but Jacopo gives her some uh, of that, they will be lovebirds again before you know it. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Never thought the day would come when I got to play a Cupid. I'm starting to get kinda excited about this. Stay focused, Tommaso. And thanks. You also didn't hear any of this from me. I'm just fine pulling the streaks from the shadows. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Their relationship is complete shambles. And Jacopo still insists he fucking loves her. And the madame says she still believes in him. <laughs> Seriously, how stupid can you be? Poor Jacopo, poor, poor madame. Now then, let's see where this boulder rolls to, to next. How far it keeps rolling. Actually, I will be nudging it along this way. I'm so curious what her reasons are, like truly, I need like, I need like them to give me answer. To confirm or deny my theory, basically. I'm so curious why this is happening. Oh, maybe maybe I'm going to get this now. Wait, I'm talking and it's like... Because after all... And? A play lives... A play lives or dies by the director's hands. Oh, never mind. She just like say that she's a director of the... Of the show. Holy shit! 
What an episode. Yeah, we're ending episode now. We just got backstabbed by Maria and it's been freaking hard. Holy crap. Wow. Anyway, we're back to it seems master and uh, maid, but oh wow, what an episode. It might be one of my favorite episodes of this door, to be honest. Let me know in the comments if you think like this is one of the fa your favorite as well. Um yeah, that's I'm curious, I'm curious about what is going to happen next and what her like true agenda, why she's doing that, like in specifics. Damn. Anyway, thank you everyone for being with me. Thank you for watching this episode. So leave up a like if you like this episode. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check my Discord. You can also become a member if you'd like to support me and check the episodes earlier as well. Thank you once again and I will see you in the next of Fata Morgana. So for the Pocket Watch. Let's go and go out. Mm -hmm.